Welcome back to SciTube HD. Today I'm going to try an experiment to see what happens when we cool a Tesla coil down to the temperatures of liquid nitrogen. In theory, the resistance of the secondary coil, which is here, should go down significantly, which would mean that the output should increase. So we should, in theory, see a big output of the secondary, or at least that's what I'm guessing. So this one can operate off of 12 volts. And this came in the form of a kit that I purchased from China. And it also has musical capability. It's got a small input there where you can connect a musical source. So first of all, let's just connect it up and see what happens. Here goes. It's producing a tiny amount of corona right here at the tip of the end of the secondary. Let's put a neon bulb near it and see what happens. So it has an electric field. The actual secondary are hot glued it to the base that you can see there. So I should be able to fill liquid nitrogen into that secondary. Here it goes. I want to fill it up. It looks like there is some leakage from the bottom. But I'm just going to keep pouring it until I feel I have my secondary cool enough to try the experiment. There you go, that should do it. Now let's plug it in. The wireless field, let's see what that looks like. There you go, it lights up. So it really doesn't look like there's a whole lot difference between the liquid nitrogen cooled coil and the coil at room temperature. Now let's see what happen, happens when we submerge the whole unit, including the transistors and the secondary coil under liquid nitrogen. I wonder if it'll even work. We can test to see if there's any output using that neon bulb. I'm a little skeptical about this. Well, the neon, the um, LED light's coming on. Let's see if we get any output from the neon bulb. Nope, that does not look hopeful. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pick the unit up and take it out of the nitrogen and let it warm up. And let it slowly warm up to room temperature. So it's still too cold to operate. The transistors are probably cooled down below their operating temperature. So I'm not seeing any activity in this neon bulb. Let's let it continue to warm up passively. There it goes, I just saw a flicker of light. So it's reached the temperature where it can operate now. Now I'm seeing more light in my neon bulb. So the transistors have obviously warmed up to the point where they're operational. And the corona looks pretty big, actually. It's hard to focus on it here, but it looks bigger than it did when it was at room temperature didn't really get the expected result of a huge increase in output of the coil and not really surprising that this stopped working when it reached liquid nitrogen temperatures because I'm sure those transistors are not rated to run at that kind of temperature. Anyway, um, I do appreciate you uh, checking this out and uh, please check back.